السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله My dear brothers and sisters I am praying to Allah that we can cover all the lessons that we are promising to cover in these very short period of time that we have few minutes quick reminder for all of us for you for me Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam the most influential man to have ever walked this earth we're talking about his life especially in the light of his last sermon lesson number eight today Prophet ﷺ said, O people, it is true that you have certain rights with regards to your woman, but they have also rights over you. If they abide by your right, then to them belong the right to be fed and clothed in kindness. Do treat your woman well and be kind to them, for they are your partners and committed helpers. And it is your right that they do not make friends with anyone of whom you do not approve, as well as never to commit adultery. Brothers and sisters, this is a very powerful statement. Just remember, darkness and depth of ignorance prevalent at the time of the Prophet ﷺ. When he came to Arabia, Arabia was steeped in deep ignorance. They used to bury their daughters alive. They used to think it's an honorable thing to kill your own daughter. Apparently, daughters would bring to them disgrace and dishonor. How crazy can you be? How irrational can you be? How hyenas do you have to be to bury your daughters alive? And yet they did it. Prophet ﷺ stood against such barbaric practice. In his time, it was abolished. No girls were buried alive since the time of Islam. My brothers and sisters, the remarkable achievement in bringing women's equality to the fore. Again, a declaration of human rights. Well, it's a basic right as far as Islam is concerned that men and women are equal in the eyes of Allah. No difference between the two when it comes to our rights and our duties to Him, to Allah Azza wa Jal. You know what, brothers and sisters? Prophet of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam challenged the Meccans, the Arabs, and forever changed their behavior. He made honoring women, respecting women, accepting women as equal as part of their habit and daily culture. I know some of you may think, oh, where is it all gone now? Yes, I know many Muslims are terribly bad towards their women towards their sisters, their mothers, their wives. I know that. But that doesn't make it right. It's wrong. Oppression against women is wrong. Inequality is wrong. Misogyny is evil. Quran gives women their due right. Of course it does. Women have not been created to serve men, brothers and sisters. Women have been made to serve Allah, just like men have been created to serve Allah. وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِعَبُدُونَ Allah says, and I've not created man and woman together, and jinn, and other species, to do anything but to serve me, Allah Azza wa Jal. He's talking about this. Woman has, women have not been created to serve a man. Please get that in your head. Men are to serve Allah, and women are to serve Allah. Together, they're protective partners. Allah says in the Quran, Al-Mu'minuna wal-Mu'minat ba'aduhum awliyaw ba'ad. A believing man and a believing woman are protectors of one another. It's very odd, isn't it? If you think we are protectors of one another, and yet, even in today's world, women are subjugated, women are badly treated. It's even worse when it comes to a Muslim man badly treating woman. It's totally unacceptable. Prophet of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam frowned upon people who were abusive towards their woman. He reprimanded men when they, and if a report of a man being bad to his wife came to him. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam had beloved daughter Fatima and three other daughters. Most of them passed away. Fatima passed after the Prophet died. 
But in his lifetime, Prophet Sallallahu buried his own daughters and he often used to say how much he cherished the memories of his daughter or daughters. He even said a man who brings up two girls or three girls and even one girl to become righteous and good, Allah will guarantee them paradise. Prophet Sallallahu was a champion for women's right. He was anti-misogynist. He was anti-chauvinist. He was against those who deprive women their due right. Allah in the Quran describes women as the believing man and believing woman, the devout man and the devout woman, the fasting man and the fasting woman, the charitable man and the charitable woman, the truthful man and truthful woman. And Allah goes on in every human category of virtue and goodness. And at the end he says, for all of them, Allah has prepared forgiveness and mighty reward. Can you imagine? All of them, man and woman, Allah has prepared mighty reward and forgiveness. So the lesson we learn from the statement of the Prophet is that never mistreat woman. Always protect the rights of woman. And man and woman are partners on this earth. Equal partners in protecting one another, in worshipping Allah, in serving Allah, in sharing Islam with the world, in being good ambassadors of the last of the messengers of Allah. Brothers and sisters, remember, do not mistreat your woman. On the Day of Judgment, you'll be in trouble if you do. Prophet Wasallam never mistreated a single woman in his entire life. And anyone who did that was told off categorically. So the lesson is, treat your woman with equality, with dignity, honor, and respect. May Allah please enable all of us, Ya Rabb, to become good to our woman and go, to be good to one another and protect us against evil of misogyny, evil of male chauvinism, and all the other evil that we see amongst ourselves. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.